purple belonged to the emperor because of its associations with the North Star. The word forbidden showed the emperor's power. It was called a city because it is a large group of buildings. So in Chinese, it is known as the Purple Forbidden City. The plazas of the Gate of Supreme Harmony Square and the Hall of Supreme Harmony Square behind it are at the heart of the Forbidden City. These plazas were traditionally called courtyards. Courtyards originated from the layout of clusters of homes in ancient times. They were the common spaces for the buildings occupied by a group of related people, and they provided a sense of safety and kinship. In general, the bigger the family, the bigger their courtyard. A courtyard was like a large tree whose branches and leaves provide shade for the whole compound. The Chinese emperors considered everything to be their responsibility, and they saw the country as their family. The palace buildings and their courtyards were arranged to form the imposing palace compound we see today. The place where the emperor lived was simply called the Imperial Palace. The basic layout of a traditional Chinese residence was preserved and greatly magnified. The Imperial Palace was designed to meet the needs of the enormous Imperial household. It was also designed so that every detail reflected the rituals and beliefs of the Emperor, so that his whole life reflected his power and exemplified his ethical values. This was the Emperor's personal courtyard, which symbolized that he was the lone ruler of the world. Ancient emperors ruled the world from their home, the imperial palace. It was a microcosm of the world as they knew it. The essence of a building is to define a living space, just as the inside of a cup does. The most important thing about a building is not the space it occupies, but the empty space it defines. The whole design reflects the values of traditional Chinese culture, combining the tangible with the intangible.